All right, so when we are annotating articles, um, we need um, a couple tools. We need two different color highlighters. And if you don't have highlighters, you can use uh, two different colored pens. You could use two different colored, colored pencils. Um, you could use crayons. You could use a, a pen and a pencil. Um, just as long as you have two different um, colors or tools or inks in order so you can tell the difference between um, different um, key ideas as well as different vo um, vocabulary words. So I'm going to use one color for kind of vocabulary words or words that I don't understand. And I'm going to use the second color for big ideas. So at the top of every article that I um, annotate, I put a little key for myself. So I'm going to use the um, orange for vocabulary, and then I'm going to use the yellow for key ideas, so big ideas in the paper. So a couple of other things that we're going to be um, using as we annotate are a couple different symbols. Um, so an exclamation point, which is going to be kind of a surprising fact, kind of a aha, right? Um, question mark, right? So something that you might want to, you know, you have a habit question on. Um, it might be um, something you're confused about. Maybe you need to look into it a little bit uh, further. Um, we're going to use some stars for um, really important things that you want to go back to. We're also going to highlight them, but we're also kind of start as this is um, this is like you know super super important. Um, so those are the um, symbols that we're going to use as as we annotate. So we're also going to do a few other things as we annotate. Um, and if we do have specific questions that pop up, um, we're going to write that right on the article. Um, and the reason for annotating is that is so that um, you make a deeper connection with with the reading. So it really kind of gets into your brain some of the concepts that you're reading about. And so you're making this deeper connection by doing these um, different tasks as you're reading. And so this is not just um, a tool that you'll be using in science class. This is also something that you use in um, in your English or in your history classes when you're asked to read different things, read different texts, um, and, and to make connections with the reading. Um, and you may have done this in some of your previous um, previous classes, maybe where you're using post-it notes and you're post-it noting different things um, in different books. Um, so this is just another um, version of, of some of that those annotations. And so when we're in the classroom, we're going to be typically um, annotating probably on paper, um, but we can, we're also going to be doing this using um, the PDF annotation software or using Google Docs where we can use the highlighter tool and the commenting tool um, in order to, diff to annotate different texts. Um, so as I go about reading, so I typically will read something twice. Um, I'm going to take the, kind of the first pass through and I'm going to go through with um, my highlighter. But then after I do everything and I go through um, and I'm going to go back through, I'm going to look at my notes and I'm going to see if there's anything that I might need to reread again um, and, and to focus on. So I'm going to show you just kind of how to get started um, in, in your annotation. And I'm going to kind of talk you through um, the annotation as I'm doing it. So. The sun at the heart of our solar system is a yellow dwarf star. All right, all right, yellow dwarf star. Wait, that sounds like it's, it's kind of familiar. It's um, kind of important. So I'm going to keep that. That's a key idea. The sun is a yellow dwarf star, um, a hot ball of glowing gases. Its gravity holds the solar system together, keeping everything from the biggest planets to the smallest particles of debris in orbit. All right, so gravity. Right, that sounds like that's a science-y vocabulary word, so I'm going to highlight that. Um, and that's something that I might go back and define later what my definition of, gra of gravity is. And sometimes when I'm doing these annotations, I'm going to open up um, my dictionary.com app um, on my phone. Right, so we're going to go dictionary.com, and then I can type in some of these words. So if I come across a word that I just do not 
No? Well, dictionary. Um, I'm going to look it up right, right then and there. Um, so, continuing on. Electric currents in the sun generate a magnetic field. So electric currents generate a magnetic field that's carried through the solar system by a solar wind. Solar wind. All right, so that's like, what is solar wind? So that's something that I'm going to need to, um, I've never heard of this solar wind before, right? So that might be something that pops up into your head. So I'm going to put a question mark there, and I'm going to go look that up afterwards. Um, a stream of electrically charged glass, electrically charged gas blowing outward from the sun in all directions. Okay, so it defines solar wind for me right there. Um, the connection and interactions between the sun and the earth drive the seasons. That sounds pretty, pretty important. They drive the seasons, the ocean currents, the weather, the climate, the radiation belts, and the aurorae. All right, so we have auroras here on, on earth. Um, and so the interaction between the sun and the earth drive our seasons, our ocean currents, weather, climate, radiation belts, as well as our auroras. Now, though it's special to us, there are billions of stars like our sun scattered throughout the Milky Way galaxy. So our sun is not very unique, right? So that's kind of interesting. Our sun, so I'm going to put a comment here. Our sun is not unique. All right, so in this section, I've highlighted a couple of key ideas that the sun is a yellow dwarf star, that electric currents um, and the sun generate a magnetic field. Um, the seasons, ocean currents, weather, climate, radiation belts, and aurora are all caused by the interaction between the sun and the earth. And, and that the sun is um, like billions of other stars, so it's not unique. So I put a little comment, a little exclamation point, um, and then I've got the solar wind and gravity highlighted as vocabulary terms. So at this point, I would continue reading on with my article um, and going through, and then towards the end, um, as I as I finish up and I'm going back and I'm reading, then I'm going to start l looking at some of these vocabulary terms that I just um, that I highlighted, right? And so I don't typically use a textbook in our class, um, so we're going to be using some other tools in order to define some of our vocabulary terms. Some of these are terms that we are going to um, define as a group, um, but. Um, in other cases, I might ask you to use just dictionary.com. So let me see if I can get this to zoom. That's hard with the glare of the thing. So it gives me a couple different definitions. So um, I'm going to use the first definition, which is the force of attraction by which terrestrial bodies tend to fall toward the center of the Earth. And so I'm going to write that definition right, right in, my, um, in my margin, and I'm going to define it right here. So, and then this is something that I can go back at, and there's my definition right there. Okay, source of attraction by which terrestrial bodies tend to fall toward the center of Earth. And then this other term that I um, identified over here, solar wind, they identified it right here. They, they uh, defined it for us. So I'm going to underline that. All right? Um, and so that is my kind of annotation of my first, my first paragraph. Um, this article here is a couple pages long, so I'm going to continue on with that process. And what I'm looking for when I'm looking at your annotations, I'm looking for your connection with the reading. I'm not looking for looking for whether or not you can pick out every big word that's in this um, in this reading. I want to know where are you where are you making connections, right? So I don't want to see the same annotations on your paper and and your partner's paper, right? This is your connection with the reading. And everybody's going to everybody's going to focus on different things. Everybody's going to pull out different key ideas. Um, everybody's going to have different comments and different connections um, that you make with the reading. Um, and and these are these are very important to do and um, because because it helps us get a deeper understanding of the concepts that we are talking about in, in class. Um, so that is kind of your um, intro to annotating uh, text.
and we will be doing this uh, throughout um, the course. Um, we will be reading at least one article every unit.